Dr. Beach, you present, sir. Sir, is the motivational speaker? Yes, ma'am. I am here. I'm there. Yes, sir. The energy will speak itself, sir. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, we would like to introduce you with our dignitaries here, sir. We have with us Vitas Bhatia, sir, our director, deputy director, administration, Colonel S.P. Anand Rao, sir, and virtually our beloved dean, sir, Dr. Neeraj Abhirwal, sir, and Joy. So now, after the introduction of dignitaries and welcome of dignitaries with each other, I will proceed ahead in the program. I will call our beloved HOD ma'am, Dr. Mudula, for the induction of the program. I am Dr. Mudula, additional professor and head of anatomy, and it's my privilege and pleasure on behalf of AIMS to welcome you all for this virtual power walk. You may be thinking, what is this power walk? Students, any idea what is this power walk? It's a Native American word which actually represents a meeting or a gathering. So we thought this will also motivate you to join this. The term also is different. We are honored to have with us Dr. Reem Singh and Dr. Shiva Prasad, esteemed specialist, to galvanize you during this pandemic stage. It is said that one day your life will flash before your eyes and we have to make sure it's worth watching. It is said the road to success is always under construction. So now to gear up our journey on this the road under construction, we have with us Dr. Vishwa Prasad, sir. Thank you, sir, for being with us. Sir is the career coach, trainer, and motivational speaker. To introduce more, I will invite upon Dr. Rohini Mudvarma, Associate Professor, Department of Over to you. one and all. Namaste, sir. Uh, I hope students are geared up, but to further gear up, I would like to introduce our next speaker, uh, who is a corporate trainer, career coach, and motivational speaker, Dr. Shiam Prasad Sir. Sir has done his education in agriculture, that is bachelor's and PhD from Indian Agricultural Research Institute, IARI New Delhi. Sir has worked for more than 14 years with both public and private sector organizations, and presently, he has his own firm, SS Technologies, helping people in organizations become better and greater in training services and motivational sessions. Sir has trained more than 2 lakh people across the country through his training sessions, and he inspires to achieve more and enjoy life better. Sir has his YouTube channels, uh, where he uh, posts Monday Motivation, Saturday Stories, Unstoppable Updates, and Mandras for success of students and faculty. So I think uh, this is very interesting. You can go to the YouTube channel of uh, Sir also and get all these uh, updates. He's author of two books, 108 Thought, and uh, that uh, makes you feel and act upon and uh, get the results actually. And another book is Unstoppable. So, uh, and uh, I'm actually very pleased to introduce Sir. I have attended one talk of Sir actually in uh, State Conference Apollo. So I was very much fascinated with that talk, sir. Uh, thank you for being here. I uh, we welcome you here. Please over to you, sir. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you very much for that uh, kind introduction. Good afternoon. Can I have all the students unmuting yourself and shouting aloud? Good afternoon. All the students, can you unmute and make some noise? Good afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. 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 Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. And I'll be asking you lots of times some questions, and you have to unmute, answer, and then mute yourself. And my request is unmute, answer my question, respond to me, and mute yourself immediately. Great job. Can I now have one more request? Can I ask you to open your chart boxes and write the name of the place where you are now? The name of the place where you are now. Where are you from? Where are you from? I understand you are from Nikhil Kumar. We have people from Karnataka, Hyderabad, of course. Yes, Chintamani. Is that 
Gio Biju from, yes, yes, yes. The people from Kerala, Rajasthan, Abhirami, from Abhirami, from where? From Kerala, okay. Arshad, Arshad from, oh, before I say, okay, great. We are from Maharashtra, Karnataka, great. Why not? Why not? Again, from Kerala, okay. We have a number of students from Kerala here, Telangana. Okay, wow. I want everybody, everybody to please write Devi Vishwana, Devi Vishnuta, Devi Vishnuta from Andhra Pradesh, okay. Chandra from Telangana. Wonderful, wonderful. How blessed I am to see all of you here. To see all of you. I want to really see all of you right now. Right now, I want you to look at me and wave at me. Can I request all of you to keep your videos on, please? Can we sit in the same room? I want to sit with you in the same room and I want to see you. Can I have a wave from you? Please switch your videos on, videos on, let us see each other. Yes, 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 I'm not, I'm not seeing anyone. Please, I hope you have the option to keep your videos on. I want to see you, great. Great, I am seeing Dhanalakshmi. Dhanalakshmi, is that Dhanalakshmi? Yes, good to see you. Yes, yes, there, there. Who is that? Who is that? Mukesh, Mukesh, good to see you, man. Okay, wonderful. Yeah, everyone, please come on. Keep your videos on. Let us see your friends. Let us have an opportunity to see your friends. Yes, there, there, there. We have Manas. Good to see you, Manas. Wonderful. Yes. Yes, come on. Anjali, Amulya, Aditya, Abhirami, Ayush, Vishnu, Bharat, Bhavesh, where are you? Come on. Yes. Wonderful, wonderful. Arshad, good to see you. Good to see you, Ashak, Ashak, and yes, Rohan, very good, good. Thank you, thank you. How, how beautiful you are. What a, how nice it is to see you all here. Let's have let's have an interactive session, and you know I, I'm really very really excited and very honored uh, to be working with you for the next one hour. Next one hour, it will be a fast-paced session. Okay, I'll be asking you lots of questions, and there'll be there is a quiz also. There's a quiz also. Okay, you have to answer lots of questions. So, are you ready? So, yes or yes? Are you ready? Unmute yourself and say yes. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Let me let me share the presentation with you and we move forward. We move forward. We move forward. Thank you very much. Okay. Are you able to see the presentation? Yes. Great. We will see the presentation, right? So we have titled today's the topic is gearing up for greater success. For greater success, you are already a successful person. So for much more success, some more success, it's a motivational session, okay, that we have uh, planned for today. First of all, I want to thank God. I want to thank God for this wonderful opportunity. You know, last month, Mrudana ma'am called me and said, uh, can we have some motivational session of yours for our students? Oh my God, from where? From Ames. Ames, all India, Institute of Medical Sciences, you want me to talk to your students? Thank you, ma'am. I'm there. I'm there. I'm there. Please tell me when do you need it. And then it has come today, you know, it has become a reality. Thank you, God, for this beautiful blessing for me that I'm able to reach out to the people sitting here from Kerala, Maharashtra, AP, Telangana, Karnataka, whatnot from across the country, 100 plus people. What a golden opportunity for me to be able to give you something, give you something and also learn. I'm going to take a lot of things from you. Yes, certainly. I'll be going from this session very much enriched, enriched. With the learning from you, I'm for it. I'm for it. Thank you. Thank you, God. Thanks to Ames. Thanks to Vikas Bhatia, director, sir, who gave the approval for this session. Thanks to Nira Jagarwal, sir, the dean, sir. Thanks to Mridala, ma'am. Thanks to all the uh, ma'ams who facilitated this. Thanks to everyone. Thanks to all of you for being so active here. As we move forward, I would like to request you, whether it is in this class, 
at any class, any session, wherever you are, or even you're going for a practicals, have a notebook with you, have a pen with you, because I hear, I forget. If not today, tomorrow, six months later, nothing will be remembered. So the important thing is I write. Whenever I look at what I have written, I will remember. And then I do I understand whatever I hear and I write, I use it. I use it practically for my success. So I would like to request all of you to kindly keep recording your notes, keep recording with your own hand, with your pen on the book. Please keep recording. That's, that will help you a lot, help you a lot. So a couple of questions for you. You can open your chart box and answer them. Would you like, would you like to lead a, would you like to lead and enjoy and enjoy a great career ahead? Would you like to lead and enjoy and enjoy, right? Would you like to lead and enjoy a great career ahead? Yes or yes? Yes or yes? Of course, yes, right? So do you want to learn some special tips for your career success today, right now? Right now, I want to see, yes, yes, sir, okay, wonderful, wonderful, please, yes. Yes, Dejeshwini says yes, Dhanalakshmi says yes, Anjali says yes, wonderful. Manas Ranjan, yes, yes, wonderful, wonderful. So, great, great. So, th that is the objective here this afternoon, right now, to help you, to help you with some special tips for your greater success at AIMS on the campus, when you come there on the campus, and also beyond, beyond as you move forward in your career, in your career. So can you make a declaration? I want all of you, I want all of you to unmute, unmute your microphones, stretch your hand, stretch your hand like this, and say, it, say, it, I want to lead a successful career. I want to hear. I am willing to learn some special tips today. Hello? Come on, make this declaration. Unmute, unmute and make this. I want to hear. I want to lead a successful career. I'm willing to learn some special tips today. I want to, I want to lead a successful career. I am willing to learn some special tips today. Fantastic, Mukesh. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. I want everybody to say yourself, to give a high five to yourself and say you are awesome. You made such a beautiful declaration. You appreciate yourself. Give a high five to yourself and say to yourself, you are awesome. Did you say that? Did you say that? Yes, yes, wonderful, wonderful. So one more time again, I want all of you to say it, to say it so that you hear your voice. And if you can unmute, say it loudly. And also later on, you mute yourself. I'm a great student. Everybody, I want you to repeat with me. I'm a great student. I'm a great learner. I'm a contributor and I'm a life changer. Hello, are you saying it or not? I'm unable to hear anyone. I want you to unmute, unmute, answer, and then mute yourself. It's very easy. Unmute and say it loudly. I am a great student. I am a great, I am a great student. learner. I am a great 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 learner. You are a life changer. You have already started changing lives. And in the days to come, you will be changing millions of lives with your work, with your services. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Have you heard this term, warriors? Warriors. This is a term which you and I, you know, we have been hearing it every day. And the people who come to our mind when you call these warriors, who are the first warriors that the world is talking about today? The doctors. The doctors. The health workers are the first and foremost warriors in this battle with the corona that we are fighting. Who dared, who risked their lives, and who dared, and who moved forward, and who served, who served the humanity, risking their own lives. The doctors, the first warriors. Agree with me? If you agree with me, say yes in the chart box. Open your chart box. If you agree with me, the doctors of today. Some of them sacrificed their lives, they risked their lives, they went. They are the true barriers, the doctors, the compounders, the nurses, the health workers, the hospital admin people. They are the true barriers, the number one barriers. Then, then there are other barriers too. There are other barriers too. 
like admin people, the police people, they are there on the roads to control the people to, you know, they're there on the roads. They took, they are also warriors. I would like to call them also warriors. And, you know, there's another category, another category of warriors. There's the farmers. Farmers, during this lockdown period, they did not stay in the home. They went to their farms, they sowed the seeds, they harvested the crop, they sent the crops to the towns and villages so that you and I could buy those vegetables, fruits and what grains and we could eat. So I would like to call them, I would like to call even the farmers as buyers. And now, now there is a fourth barrier. Fourth warriors, what is this fourth warriors? What is fourth warriors? Can anybody respond to me? Either you unmute yourself and answer or youth work, okay, wonderful Pavani, youth, absolutely, you're very close, very close, yes. Students, Mukesh Naidu, oh great, absolutely. Yes, yes everybody, Sudarshan, Sumit, everybody says students, absolutely. I agree with you, you are a warrior. You are a warrior. If the college is calling you, you are coming to the college. If the college is through, you're going back. And again, you are there. You are a warrior too. In this during this pandemic time, the students, you are a warrior. And I am a warrior. You are a warrior. So I have brought, I have brought a song for all of us to dance, to dance. So I want all of you, I want to request all of you to keep your mobiles down there to leave your laptops down there. All of you, I want all of you to stand up. All of you to stand up, please. Stand up wherever you are, wherever you are. If you can keep your videos on, that will be wonderful. We can, we can, we'll have a beautiful video now. You can keep your videos on, stand up, because I want you to enjoy this song. I want you to enjoy this song, and I want you to dance with me, and dance for the tune here. Let's get going. Come on, everybody. Put your hands and legs. I am a warrior. Everyone. I don't hear you. Wow. I am a buyer to my heart. I stand in my power. Are you a buyer? Say yes or yes. Are you a buyer? So yes, yes, come on. I'm gonna ask some questions. You unmute answer and mute yourself. Now open your notebooks. Open your notebooks. Please answer these four questions in black and white, in writing. I want you to answer. Take a moment. Take a moment. Think about the answers for these four questions. Of course, your name, you have written already. One most exciting success you enjoy in your life so far. What is that? You have enjoyed so much of success, so many times, so many successes are there. But out of all that, what is the one most exciting success that you're so proud of? And the third question is, what is the one most exciting goal? My karke dikhaunga. Yes, I will do it. I want to do it. This is so good for me. What is that goal that you want to achieve in the next five to six years? I'm not giving you long term. It's a medium term. Five to six years. And finally, one thing you like most about yourself. Okay, I hope you've already written the answers. I would like to listen to each and every one of you. These four answers, but, but unfortunately, we don't have time. We don't have time. So I would like to listen to at least a few of you, few of you for the volunteers who would like to, who would like to tell us about your success and your goal and about yourself. Yes. Come on. Whoever wants to do it, unmute yourself and start speaking.
Who is coming first? I want to listen to you. I want to get inspired by your success, by your goal. Who is coming? Yes. Who is volunteering? Hello? Sir, uh, sir, my name is Pavni. Wonderful Pavni. Uh, Congratulations. I, I, I wanted to... I wanted yeah, to speak yeah. about one most exciting success that I had in my life. When I was in my eighth class, uh, I and my fr along with my friend, we had done a project, a NASA AMA Space Settlement Project, for which we were uh, given uh, honorable mention, and we were invited by NASA to their uh, their conference also. So, so we were very like. No. At a young age, we, we could go there uh, on their invitation and we could take part in their conference and meet so many exciting astronauts and uh, space scientists. Actually, I, my goal was to take up space medicine, sir, but then again, I felt like, uh, what's the use of me going and thinking about space when my people here are uh, fighting with their own health issues? So I had to drop the idea of becoming a space scientist. But that was very exciting, sir, because at a very young age, we didn't have an enough uh, infrastructure <laughs> facilities, uh, but we had gone to U.S. Uh, all on our own. Phenomenal, Bhavani. Congratulations, my good. What an inspiring success you achieved when you were in eighth standard itself. Great. Congratulations. And then, is there anything that you want to say about your goal in the next five to six years? Sir, actually, uh, I would like to invent and discover new methods of uh, treatment and interventions in uh, medicine, sir. And I also want to, uh, re like, I want to change the way in which uh, the society looks at doctors and I want Phenomenal. to amend few laws as well. Phenomenal, Pavani, you are thinking big. There's a magic in thinking big. Awesome. Go ahead. Go ahead. One thing you like most about yourself, quickly. Pavani, would you like to say what is the one thing you like most about yourself? Uh, sir, like I'm sensible to everyone's uh, thoughts and opinions. Sir. I understand Thank everything. Thank you, Pavani. God bless you. Awesome. Thank, Thank, Thank you, you very sir. much. It's very inspiring to listen to you. Yes, I would like to listen to one or two more people, one or two more people before we move forward. That is so inspiring. My God, I would have missed a lot if I had not asked when Pavani had not spoken. Thank you, Pavani. Yes, who is coming next? I know I would like to call some people. I would like to call some people, but I want to give the opportunity to you to volunteer. You know, yes. Yes. Next, come on, jump in, jump in. This is an opportunity. The two batches are listening to you. They want to listen to you. I want to call. 36, Pranav Roy, Pranav Roy appears to be from Bengal, right? From Bengal, Pranav Roy, Pranav, could you please introduce okay. yourself by saying this, you know, responding to these questions here, Pranav? After Pranav, I would like to ask um, Mukesh, Mukesh Naidu. After Pranav, I want to uh, listen to Mukesh Naidu. Pranav, are you coming? Pranav, are you coming, Pranav? Mukesh Naidu, would you like to take the chance? Yes, sir. Wonderful, Mukesh. Go ahead. Sir, my name is Mukesh Naidu. Uh, and actually, uh, cracking my entrance exam, like, uh, without any basic, uh, what, uh, like, without any proper coaching uh, is my... Uh, is the most exciting success uh, I have enjoyed, sir. Definitely, definitely, absolutely. And yes. I, I actually, uh, uh, more than that, my father was feeling very proud of me because he was facing so many difficulties in his life. Wonderful. So, uh, like cracking these and uh, becoming yes. a medico for me yes. is yes. to achieve something bigger. Yes. And uh, my most exciting goal uh, to achieve in next uh, few years is. Uh, to become an efficient doctor like uh, who have some uh, values one like uh, who should not be money minded 
because uh, we know the value of money sure sure and uh, one thing i like is uh, about myself is uh, my hard work sure or, uh, definitely uh, definitely you're hard working you're deserving and that's definitely great success cracking the aims examination and getting selected for aims bb nagar and being a medical here itself is a phenomenal success your father your entire family your, your entire village we be proud of you is proud of you absolutely thank you and you are so thoughtful god bless you mukesh thank you very much for responding to my request and uh, introducing yourself anybody else the last person the last thank person you. The last person who would like to come. Yeah. You can unmute yourself and start speaking. Yeah, this is an opportunity. This is an opportunity. You know, we are there, not on the campus, and your all friends are, you know, having an opportunity to tell yourself. Okay, now today I would like to invite because Dhanalakshmi is the first person who switched her video on today, if I remember correctly. So Dhanalakshmi, Dhanalakshmi, can we listen sir, to you? Good evening, sir. Good evening. Go ahead. Uh, yeah. The most exciting success is when in my 10th standard, uh, 17 students from Karnataka have invited, had invited for National Aerospace Laboratory, sir. Okay. okay at bangalore and it is the most confidential area where defense process will be taking place and oh, most yeah. of the plans and i am one of those 17 students who visited national aerospace laboratories Phenomenal. and those two days really I feel, I feel it's the most wonderful moment for me and for my parents to see all those scientific equipment sir yes, yes. superconductors even uh, fight fight yes. uh, spacecrafts everything yes and yes. I feel that is the most enjoyable and most yes. admirable moment for me. Yes, yes, certainly. And Such. the goal is uh, these years my parents have worked a lot, their efforts for our education. And I just wanted to free them, sir, through my sure. work. Sure, sure, sure. You can and you will. You are a great daughter, great daughter. Your parents are already proud of you and definitely going to the place where if it's Abdul Kalamji must have worked there and you've gone there, you've seen all those things. It's a moment to cherish, to remember for a long time to come. Always definitely. Thank you very much. I know each and every one of you, the hundred plus people sitting here in this room, you have your own success story to tell me. You have your success story. You have phenomenal success stories to tell me. You are a successful person. That's why I want all I want to congratulate each and every one of you. Congratulations. Hello, I want you to answer mine. Nobody is accepting my congratulations. Hello? Thank you, sir. Oh, thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Thank congratulations. You, you deserve congratulations. You deserve congratulations. You know, um, you know, once I went to College of Agriculture, Velayani, near Trivandrum, there's a place called Velayani, there's a College of Agriculture. I went there, I was talking to finally a BS degree students, and I know I mentioned the same thing. Congratulations! There was a pin drop silence. My god, nobody accepted my congratulations, except one, one girl, one girl sitting in the corner. She said, Thank you, sir. Hey, who's that? You're the only person who accepted my congratulations. Come on, stand up. Poor girl, she stood up. And I asked her, tell me, what did you accept? Nobody accepted. You said, thank you. What is your success? She didn't expect this question from me. And But then, you know, she took a moment. She thought about it. She looked up and then looked straight into my eyes. And she told me, sir, my birth itself is my first success in my life, sir. Oh my God, this time it's my turn to be shocked. But then I said, why not? Why not? Absolutely. Our success began on the day that we are delivered into this world. From that time, if you take, there were so many, so many successes that we have been enjoying. We started speaking. One fine morning, you said, Amma, oh, my baby started speaking. Wow. With that one word today, you're able to communicate. You're able to speak your heart out and communicate with other people. Is that not a success? You're able to walk, you are a crawling baby. Today you can walk, you can hop, you can skip, you can jump, you can climb on two legs. Not a success. 
cracked so many exam success and that got selected for aims oh my god i said you chai congratulate you congrats this is a phenomenal success that you were selected for this college and that is for a reason that's for a reason that's for a reason that's for a reason so i want all of you to to say these things to say make a declaration i am a successful person i enjoy success every day i want to be more and more successful i want all of you to say this to say this and give a high five to yourself say you're awesome you are awesome indeed you're awesome indeed okay look at this look at this can anybody identify what plant is this please or unmute answer unmute answer mute okay take care yes take care of your uh, microphones and um, yes what plant is this can i somebody identify this plant very easy you know Or unmuted answer. Bamboo plant. Yeah, it's a bamboo plant. Bamboo, bamboo plant. Yes. Bamboo, bamboo plant. plant. But this is a particular variety of bamboo. Most bamboo plants are like this. But this particular mosa bamboo has a peculiar habit. It's a very peculiar habit. You know what it is? You know, for up to five years after it falls into the ground, there is no discernible growth outside of the ground. But the day it breaks open the soil and comes out, it grows at the speed of a meter a day. What's the speed? A meter a day. And in a matter of twenty-five days, it reaches the height of twenty-five to thirty meters. How was it possible for that amazing growth, amazing sacks? So how was it possible for this bamboo plant to get that growth? Anyone would like to answer? I'm new to answer. How was it possible? It 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 grows at a speed that no other plant species grows. How was it possible? Anybody? What was it doing under the ground for four years, five years? What was it doing under the ground? <laughs> yes 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 bit louder okay. yeah what was it doing it was actually it was not keeping quiet it was not dormant it was very active it was very active it was very very active it knows i have to break open the soil to go out and i should be growing at a speed that no other plants has ever grown so i must be what must be prepared i must be prepared i must be prepared so it prepares it prepares its root system it acquires all those water all those nutrients because every day it has to pump up so much of water and nutrients so it acquires it in it expands its root system its root system and it acquires all of that so that it is ready it is ready after that five year period it was ready for the kind of growth that this wanted to see so the key is preparing for its success and you are now on the campus you are not doing your mbbs mbbs okay so i want you to make this declaration everybody when you are making this declaration if you can unmute and say it loudly we can hear you even if you're not unmuting don't miss to say this at least let your voice be heard by you i want your voice to fall on your ears okay i want to succeed and grow in my life i want to enjoy a great career i know preparation is key to my success i shall learn and prepare well for my future that's what the preparation aims vibhinaga prepares you is preparing you and it's your of it's your responsibility to take that opportunity and to prepare yourself prepare yourself for the future and when you want to prepare yourself for a great success great future there are three areas that you should be thinking about and is a s k e for attitude s yes for skills and k for knowledge k for knowledge k for knowledge but out of all these three the important thing is my different skills you will acquire on the campus knowledge you will acquire on the campus by reading the books by attending the classes and skills you will get by attending by doing all those practicals and these dissections and surgeries you will get all those skills and the attitude part it's very important i'm so happy that dr brudra ma'am and your department of anatomy and your college has thought about arranging this kind of sessions and i'm sure they these things will help you fine tune your attitude because attitude is very important very very because you know 
You may have all the skills that you require. You may have all the knowledge that is required to become a great doctor. But if you don't have the right attitude doctor, all the skills and knowledge would not be of much value. But you may not be having all the skills. You may not be having all the knowledge. But if you have the right attitude, all the skills and knowledge that you require, they will come to you sooner than later. So the important is that. But just by fine tuning, right? you have a great attitude, different, 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 but always there's a room for room for fine tuning. Let me tell you a small story. This is a story of a balloon seller. Once a balloon seller was selling balloons. That's how he sells, right? You won't keep them in the bag. He blows them and then he flies them high so the children will see and buy and he can make more sales. Chota bachcha ne dekha tha. There are different colored balloons, these yellow balloons, green balloons, blue balloons, purple balloons, pink balloons, red balloons, you know, every color, but there is no black color balloon. So this child got a doubt. He went to the balloon seller and he asked the balloon seller, Dadaji, Dadaji, I could see, but if you fly a black color balloon, does it also fly innocently, the child asked the balloon seller. What did the balloon seller say? Beta, Deco, the height to which a balloon flies in the sky does not depend on its color. It depends on the medium with which you fill the balloon. The medium, is it hydrogen, oxygen, neon, krypton, or what? Water, mitti, kya, kisse bhari hui hai? That determines the height to which a balloon flies. My dear friends, time and again it has been proven. Time and again it has been proven that. The height of which a person rises in his life depends on the attitude, the thoughts, the thoughts with which a man fills his mind with. Thoughts, that is nothing but the attitude. Thoughts about the way you are thinking about yourself, the way you are thinking about your friends, the way you are thinking about your family, the way you are thinking about your college, the way you are thinking about your future, your world. That is your attitude. These are the, the, the thoughts that you fill your mind. Those are very important. I am so happy our our Bhim Singh sir has given lots of input on the positivity, positive thoughts, how we could fill it up and how we could do it. Look at this. Look at these two organs. One is an elephant, other one is this uh, other one is this uh, bumblebee, right? You might have seen this elephant in zoological parks or in the circus areas tied to a small iron peg and a chain. Do you think the elephant does not have the strength to pull that peg out of the ground? It has. But does it pull it out of the ground? No. Why? Why? Can I have answers please in the chart box? Why does the elephant not pull the peg out of the ground and run away? Why it restricts itself to that diameter, to that circle of that diameter? Why? Why? Anybody? Please, I mean, come on, let's make it. Let me not preach you, teach you, or lecture you here. Let's have an interactive session. I want your answers. Please, you can write in the chat box or unmute an answer. Why does the elephant restrict itself to that circle of diameter? Though it has the strength to move out. Hello? Anybody? No one? Ignorant? No, it was, yeah. True. It was ignorant of the yes, Pravani. Thank you very much. It was ignorant of the strength that it possesses the strength, but does not know that it possesses the strength. Why? It's because of the mindset that has been that has been developed into it when it was a small baby. When it was a baby, you know, at that time it did not have the strength. Then it was tied to the same peg and could pull it out. So it came to a conclusion that I would never be able to pull it out of the ground. That's how you know the mind has been set. Whereas look at this bumblebee. Bumblebee is the busy guy, the first guy to get up in the morning and last guy to go to the bed. During the day, it flies from one flower to another flower, picks up honey back and forth to the honeycomb and there. You know, it, it covers a distance of not less than 1,600 kilometers in a week. But scientists and biologists have found that it wings are thin and uneven, head is very wide and non aerodynamic, body is heavy, filled with fluid. And they said physically, physiologically, and aerodynamically, a bumblebee should not be able to fly, but the bumblebee flies. How is it possible? How is it possible? How is it possible? It's possible because it is also ignorant. It is ignorant that it cannot fly. How? 
How come? Because it was so lucky. All these biologists and scientists have not gone to the bumblebee and said, Deco beta, your wings are thin and even, your legs are very weak, your body is heavy, your head is not aerodynamic, you will not be able to fly, you don't try to fly. If you try to fly, you might even break your legs. These people have not gone and told the bumblebee. ये बोला तो भी इनकी भाषा उनको समझ में नहीं आया होगा सो बम्बलबी इज इग्नोर बम्बलबी डज नॉट नो इट कैन नॉट फ्लाई हाउ फॉर्चूनेट द बम्बलबी इज हाउ फॉर्चूनेट बट द क्वेश्चन इज आर वी सो फॉर्चूनेट यू एंड आई आर वी सो फॉर्चूनेट वी हियर सो मेनी सो मेनी नेगेटिव थॉट्स द नेगेटिविटी इज सो मच अराउंड अस बचपन से भी डोंट 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 इतना सुना इतना सुना डोंट डोंट डू दिस डोंट डू दैट डोंट डू दिस हम बन गए मिस्टर डोंट मिस डोंट पर अभी तो बोलते हैं लोग डू डू कैसे करें बचपन से तरह सुने हैं सो हाउ डू यू ग्रेट फ्री इट्स इम्पोर्टेंट दैट्स व्हाट यू नो यू शुड बी एबल टू फिल्टर यू शुड बी एबल टू फिल्टर व्हाट टू लेट इनटू योर माइंड एंड व्हाट यू शुड नॉट बी लेटिंग इन योर माइंड सो यू हैव टू ब्रेक फ्री फ्रॉम योर योर माइंडसेट and keep i'm so happy i'm so happy you're thinking big you're thinking big dream big okay let me take you through a very quick phase we don't have much time left okay Can anyone recognize this person? Who is this person? Hailing from a small village from a MS Dhoni. Who's that? Who's that? What did you say? MS Dhoni. MS Dhoni. Thoda chhara, thoda chhara hai sa tha, but thoda thoda farak da. He is South India se hai, South India se hai, Tamil Nadu se hai, and he is from Tamil Nadu, from a small. fisherman um, village and that's where you know from that background this man came up and he grew big up and then this man went on to become the mr and man of india the president of india the you and i and everyone in india even outside india love this man the abdul kalam the great scientist the great scientist from so small beginning from a small beginning he was that can anyone recognize this person Come tell me, tell me the name of the person loudly or type it in the chat box. Come on, let me see who is going to answer. Who is this person? My God, yeah, this person has got something to do with what you do. He has been rated to be the greatest, the greatest Yava genius. Yes, Nam Pali Anusha, Anushma, Anushma. Anishma Nikhil Kumar, great man! Oh, wonderful! You could recognize absolutely. This is Leonardo da Vinci. Oh my God, Leonardo da Vinci! Absolutely, you know, he was perhaps the first anatomist, uh, the man, the first one who wrote all the anatomical pictures of the human beings. He did surgeries. He was a great artist, great painter. He was the rated to be the greatest genius ever born on the planet Earth. Was the Leonardo da Vinci? Da Vinci. Okay. Who is this man? Come on. Anyone? Can anyone recognize this person? Quickly. He has something to do. Something to do with your profession. Though he's not a doctor. Though he's not a doctor. He has done so much for the field of medicine. Medicine and health, human health. And what is this man's name? Can anyone, please? From Hyderabad, he has established an institution. An institution. Yalvi Prasad. Absolutely, great, absolutely. He is Yalvi Prasad. Oh my God, his name is there. This is rated to be among the best uh, eye hospitals in the country, and what a phenomenal service. Of course, I think you will be able to recognize this man very easily because you know uh, he is very much uh, in in uh, active today, and uh, you might have heard, uh, you might have seen some of the videos of this person. Can anybody recognize this doctor? Devi Shetty. Yes, absolutely. Devi Shetty. Devi, Devi Shetty, absolutely. Cardiologist, cardiologist, cardiac surgeon. Yes. And come on, tell me who is this person? Yes, yes, yes. He is also. a doctor but but i i want to see if anybody could recognize him at least people from bengal people from bengal should recognize this person vidhan chandra bhai yes who said that who said that who said that absolutely right vidhan chandra bhai and this man in fact you know university agriculture university is named after vidhan chandra uh, krishi vishwavidyalaya khadiyani is named after him he was a doctor and his birthday is uh, celebrated as national doctors day and you know this man went on to become the chief minister of west bengal as well as well my god yes absolutely who is this lady who is this lady come on quick 
Hakos. Hakos, you know how. Mary Curie. Yeah, absolutely. Mary Curie, you're very right. Mary Curie. Right. Yes, you're very right. And she won Nobel Prize, my God. Winning Nobel Prize in one subject itself is a phenomenal thing. She won in physics and also in chemistry. Oh, my God. Who's this? This man won Nobel Prize for medicine. Hargobin Khurana. Absolutely. Who said that? Rohan, congratulations, man. You are very correct. Very correct. I, this, is, this is the challenge. I want to see who can recognize this person. I want to see who can recognize this person. Who is this? He created history. Christian Barn. Yay! Pranav Christian Barn. Pranav Roy, you made it, man. You made it. Christian Barn, absolutely. He is a man who did the first transplantation of heart from man to man from a woman to man actually on 3rd december 1967 cape town south africa he performed the world's first heart surgery heart transplantation heart transplantation he did that phenomenal way back in 1967 look at that look at that you remember him i remember him this is a legend what about this what about this can somebody recognize of course um. Yes, who is this? Very good, very good. Sushruta, the great surgical genius, is the first surgeon, first surgeon. And this is something to do with the nanotechnology. My dear friends, nanotechnology, nano, nano things. These are the technologies. So, you know, and this is this is what this is information technology. And then we have biotechnology. All these new age technologies have come into the picture. And the way the medicine is the, the medicine is administered, the way medicine is diagnosed, the way the medical diagnosis is done, biomedical, whatnot, phenomenal developments, because now the technological things have advanced. And so you have to integrate, you have to integrate the human human anatomy human health human system with the technology understand and learn and i was looking at what are different medical streams available you know radiology my god when i was a student radiology is the least preferred subject if you don't get admission to a pg in any other subject then go to radiology but today it's a different scenario. Radiology, whatnot. Radiology, general medicine, anatomy, foreign six science, objective, pediatrics, orthopedics, microbiology, pharmacology, whatnot, ophthalmology, surgery, ENT, and then you have medicine, medicinal, medical genetics, respiratory, anesthesiology, infection system, sports medicine. And I was also reading there are different kinds of other medicines. Pavani, you know, there is aerospace medicine available for if you want to do in doctor of medicine at the PG, PG level. And there is community medicine, nuclear medicine, tropical medicine, pal pal palliative medicine, emergency medicine, family medicine, pulmonary medicine, forensic medicine, physical and rehabilitation, and immuno, immuno hematology and water blood transfusion and marine medicine, water. My God, phenomenal. You have got phenomenal streams available. A wonderful career is waiting for you. If you can any math on it you can achieve if you can dream it you can become it you can dream it you can become it and ultimately you have to become you have to become and now in these five years you are becoming you are becoming every day you become every day you are becoming whether you are on the campus or off the campus you are becoming so what are you becoming that's what sir that's what so here look at this man what is this who you are becoming is far more important than what you are doing. Who you are becoming is far more important than what you are doing. And yet, it is what you are doing that determines what you are becoming or who you are becoming. So every day, how you are attending your classes, how you are taking advantage, you are becoming, right? You are becoming. You know, sometimes people spend five years, they get a degree and they go out to the campus by becoming nothing. But some people, they spend five years, they get a degree and they become something great. Something great. So you have to become, you are becoming, be conscious of becoming. So for becoming that, I want to give some special tips, some special tips for your greatest success. Are you ready to take the special tips from me? If you ready, please write yes in the chart box. I want to see how many of you are writing yes in the chart. Yes. Great, Mukesh, thank you. Prakash, Manas, Dhanlakshmi, Ritika, Ashra, thank you. Abhirami, thank you. Bhagwan, thank you. Bharatwas, thank you. Rohan, thank you. Lasya, thank you. Thank you, thank you so much. Awesome, you are awesome. You are awesome, fantastic. Let me, let me tell you, you know, look at this. This is the nut. When you break this nut, you get a seed. And this seed, this seed, 
the seed becomes a plant and it comes out of the soil. The plant becomes a grows and becomes a tree. The tree grows further and becomes a vriksha. And the vriksha grows further and becomes like a maha vriksha. And that vriksha is mighty one. Mighty one. Why it grows? Why it becomes so great? Why it becomes so great? During its life journey of 1,200 years, it gives shelter to lakhs of birds. If somebody is so tired and wants some shade, I'm there to serve you. If you want building a house, I'm there to serve you. If you are making some furniture, I'm there to serve you. I want to go big. I want to become great so I can serve more people. I can serve more people. So the important thing is, whatever you want to become, whatever you want to become, the first of all, be very clear about why you want to become that. What is the purpose? Why you want to become that? Get that clarity. If I become that, what is it for me, for my family, for my community, for my, for my nation? What is that? Why do I want to become this? Get that clarity. First thing is, ask yourself, sit quietly. Why? Why do I want to become this? Whatever you want to become, ask yourself and know your purpose. Know your purpose. I'm so happy to listen to Mukesh Naidu who said that, you know, I want to serve my seva karna chahata hum. And that is my purpose. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. So please go for it. Go for it. And this is the story. This is the story. It's already 505. Would like to request um, um, uh, Rudala ma'am or anyone um, uh, how much time more I can have? Because I think we started a bit late. Um, can I have another mm -hmm. 10? Continue, continue, sir. Continue, but. Okay, 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 great, great. I will, I will. Um, yeah, this is the story, the story, real story, true story that happened over a period of 100 years. The story began way back in 1860s and went into 1960s. You know, during this period, oh my God, history was written. Those were the days, 1960s, when America declared equal rights to blacks because Martin Luther King Jr. and others fought for their freedom and equal rights. They gave it, but some of the whites did not like it. Those whites uh, started kidnapping and killing the blacks. Some of the blacks in the process, one black lady who was working as a maid servant in a white family of Moses and Susan Cower. Moses and Susan Cower, that black lady was kidnapped along with a three week old baby. And this white couple, took kindness, they went to the village head and requested him to negotiate the kidnappers and agreed to exchange their pony to save the baby. The baby boy of three weeks old was saved. Nobody knew what happened to that lady. The boy was brought home and he was given name. He was given name George Washington. Washington because the car was raised him. He became George Washington Kawa. Till schooling, they supported him. Thereafter, the town and cities and did his undergrad PG PhD and then he went on to become a scientist and a professor and he went on to become professor professor George Washington he was a very passionate teacher he loved agriculture he loved he was at the College of Agriculture Alabama he was a professor at College of Agriculture Alabama you know he was such a passionate professor students used to love him so much looking at his passion for the subject and one of those students who loved that passion was Henry Wallace as a student taught by George Washington Kawa, he came out of the campus and then he started his own seed business. He minted millions and billions of dollars and went into the politics, went on to become the vice president of the United States of America. But his passion, his love, his love and passion for the subject did not die. And he established an international center for maize and wheat, a special center, handpicked, handpicked. Scientists called Norman Borlaug, the only scientist who won Nobel Prize for Peace. This man was handpicked to head that center. And this man developed wheat varieties, the semi-dwarf wheat varieties. You know, at that time in India, Dr. Professor M.S. Swaminathan, Mongabu Samba 7 Swaminathan, was the Director General of Indian Council of Agriculture Research, ICAR. And that time, he knew, came to know that Borlaug developed those varieties, brought those things to India. Because Indians were growing tall weeds, very short panicle, long vegetative growth. But with the semi dwarfs, the panicle that was much longer was given to the farmers and demolished the conducted farm, farmers of Punjab, Haryana, and UP. They allowed these varieties, they wanted ship loads of these seeds, were ship loads of these seeds were brought to the country and given to the farmers. The farmers grew. India's wheat production went up by fivefold, and India achieved what we call. What we call that? What did we call that? We called that Green Revolution. Haritha Kranti. Absolutely, Sumit. 
हरित क्रांति ग्रीन रिवोल्यूशन माय गॉड मुझे कभी कभी लगता है हंड्रेड इयर्स बैक ओशन से क्रॉस कॉन्टिनेंट से पार्ट वहां पे इन एटीन ये दैट व्हाइट कपल डिड नॉट सेव द बेबी वेदर हंड्रेड इयर्स लेटर India, which was a banking power at the time, could have become self-reliant or not? You know, I used to wonder, wonder. But all this, my dear friends, because it all happened because of passionate people. Because of passionate people, that is, you know, nothing ever happened, great ever happened without being passionate. You have to be passionate. You know, I know one student, one student, my my elder son's classmate, my elder son's classmate, Mr. Tapasya. Mr. Tapasya, Tapasya wanted to become a doctor. You know, he did his uh, plus two, plus two, and he wrote the M set, M set, M set examination. He could not get selected. He went for the long term, one year long term, and then he could not get selected. But he said, "No, I have to become doctor. I want to become doctor." And then his parents, you know, his parents with all that earnings of their their uh, lifetime, they carried bags of uh, money to a college. Lacks of money, lacks of. Money. Money to get admission a private college, and he got admission in a private college. And after a year, he came to he came to you know my home once and asked the pastor, uncle, uncle, I'm becoming a doctor. So why are you saying, uncle? You don't know, uncle. You know what is meant by doctor? Every patient is different, uncle. It is not same. Every patient is this is a challenge every day. It's a challenge. You know how exciting it is to be a doctor. Every case is different. Every patient is different. Every oh my God, I am really. I could see. I I told myself that day, this guy is going to become a great doctor. That is the kind of passion. That is the kind of passion which will give you a lot. You have to be passionate. Okay, and another thing. Look at this. He's a farmer. He's a farmer. This farmer every year, every year he comes to a competition called maize grower competition. Maize grower competition. In that competition, he has been winning the best corn grower prize for several years. And at the end of this year awards function, he was sitting there. A few media people went to him and said, "Sir, congratulations! But we want to know one thing from you, sir. We want to know one thing from you, sir." We understand you share the seeds of your crop with your neighboring farmers, with your fellow farmers in the village. Are you not worried? Are you not worried that very soon you would lose your prize to somebody else in the village? He said, "Don't you know? Don't you know? If I have to grow a superior corn crop, my field should be surrounded by superior corn. If all the people around in my village, if they grow inferior corn, I will all my corn will become inferior, inferior. So what is that we could learn from this farmer? You know, fortunately you are selected for aims, you can't call the games. You are all, you are all the cream. You are all the cream. You are the best of the lot. We have come here. You are surrounded by people. You are surrounded by people, good people. That's very important. And again. Again, you have to connect yourself with the right people. Connect yourself with the right people. The networking to the world is very small place. You should network depending on your goal, depending on your dream. Connect with the right people. Stay with the right people. Deal with the right people. And we are all farmers. You are a doctor, and I am a scientist. I am a trainer. You know, but at the same time, we are all farmers. We are all cultivating. We are all cultivating our future. Our future. And for that we are farming. What habits? Farming. We are for our. Am I what we do today? If we do today, if we sow good seed today, we get good crop tomorrow. If we cultivate good habits today, good cultivate good habits, our future will be bright. So habits make an order with habits. You reach your what time you're getting up in the bed, what time you're going to the bed, and during this period, what are you doing? What are your habits? Good habits. Man is a slave to habits. Whether it's good habits or bad habits. If I have to become a slave, if I have to become a slave to habits, why should I become slave to bad habits? Let me become slave to good habits. Let me become slave to good habits. So understand the good habits of the great doctors and cultivate those things. Do so your way and enjoy. You're so blessed. You're so blessed. God is so kind to you. You have, He has given you countless blessings. Recognize those things. You're so blessed. And enjoy, enjoy those blessings. Speak up, speak out, network, enjoy. You know that's what you have to do. That's what you have to do. And my dear friends, 
anyone has never made a mistake has never tried anything new so don't be worried about making mistakes oh today i will come i will speak i might be doing wrong mistake no please don't do that mistakes do happen don't worry about committing mistakes that's how we learn we learn more you know if you have to learn more you should be prepared to make some mistakes and don't be worried don't be scared of committing mistakes mistakes do happen but let us learn from the mistakes let us learn from them success is no accident it is hard work perseverance learning studying sacrifice and most of all love of what you do this said by the great football legend pele pele says Yes, you need to do a lot of smart work. You need to do a lot of smart work, but hard work. There's no substitute for hard work. There's no substitute. We have to work hard. We have to work hard. There's so many phenomenal opportunities to learn, to learn and do your best. And that's how you come. Finally, I want to tell you something. You know, here is a small story. Once there was an young man. Once there was an young man walking through the wilds. Walking through the wild. Suddenly, he spotted a tiger. Oh my God. He's for a tiger. Okay. But thing is, this tiger has also seen him. The tiger also spotted him. Then what happens? The chase begins. The chase begins. The man was running for his life. The tiger was behind him. And he ran and ran and reached the edge of a cliff. Edge of a cliff. And he held on to a vine. And he held on to a vine. And he was climbing down. The tiger came there, taking the support of a stone. He was, he was holding on to the vine. And that is the moment. That is the moment he found a, a strawberry plant there and a very ripe strawberry, very ripe strawberry. The elephant up there he was hanging on to the vine. And that is the time, that is the time actually, you know what happened? There was a mouse, there was a mouse which is coming and growing on the, on the, on the very vine which this man was holding on to. He scared it away, but it's coming back. Very soon the vine is going to break. That is the time he took that strawberry and he ate that strawberry. And that is the most incredibly delicious strawberry that he had ever eaten in his life. Was it necessary? Was it necessary for him at that time to eat that strawberry? If you ask me, I would say yes. I would say yes. Are we not going through the life in the same manner? The past was, the future was uncertain. The past is something that we can't change and we are in the present. Whatever we are doing, whatever the course we are studying, whatever the place, whatever the college we are studying, wherever we are, you know, relishing that. Relishing that, falling in love and giving your best and taking that moment and living, living at your best in that moment is something that's very, very important. Words are important. I know for most of you, becoming a doctor is a strawberry of life. That's how you worked hard. You worked hard and you got admission and you got admission to Ames BP Nagar. You are there. You are so lucky, so fortunate. Become, fall in love with the subject, become a great doctor. I want all of you to unmute and repeat with me. I am a great student. Unmute and answer. I want everybody, all the professors to listen to you. I am a great student. A great student. I am I'm a, a great student. I am a contributor. I am a, a life changer. Contributor. Yes, Laura. Come on, everybody. Don't I am a performer. I am a contributor. I am a life changer. Contributor. You are a great student. You are a performer. You are a contributor. You are a life changer. A phenomenal career is waiting for you. A phenomenal career is waiting for you. But important is you have to choose. Which one? You want to go and tomorrow you will be practicing having your own hospital, or you will become a professor in a medical college, or you will become a great scientist doing medical research, or you will be joining a corporate hospital and becoming a great doctor to them or you will crack civil service become an IS officer or you join an NGO or what you do which career which option be clear about it understand why you are choosing it and but become truly passionate about it become truly passionate about it and do whatever it is do whatever it is required to become what you want to become and that's how you reach your fame you have to draw what do you want to become at the age of 60? If you have to be at the 60 like this, what should you be in the 50? What should you be in the 40? What should you be at the age of 30? And what should you be doing now? That's how you want to work backwards and do it. Okay? You are awesome. You are a great student. And you have a great doctor in you. You have a great doctor in you. Be passionate about your profession. Put an excellence every effort. And your success is guaranteed. Congratulations. Congratulations, I have a few questions to answer. I want all of you to unmute and answer my questions, please. Unmute, be ready to answer. Thank you, sir. How are you, Albina? Thank you, sir. How are you, Albina? 
Yes, sir. Yes, sir. you are a winner. Yes, sir. 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 Yes, you are a champion. Yes, you are the god. Yes, sir. You are the god. Yes, sir. You know. Yes, sir. You are the god. Yes. The god, the master craftsman has created you. The masterpiece. You are a masterpiece. You are the best. You are designed to succeed a lot. I want you to unmute yourself and say, yes, I'm capable. Yes, it's possible. Yes, I'm capable. Yes, I'm capable. Yes, I'm capable. It's possible. Yes, I can achieve my goals. Fantastic. Now, yes, everybody, I please, goals. I want all 100 people. Yes, I can achieve my goals. Achieve yes, my goals. I have my pronouns, my success. Yes, no, 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 wait, 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 wait. I want all. Hi, everyone. Hi, and tell your name. Hi. Hi. Tell your name, please. Friend of Ames. Bibi Nagar. 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 Bibi Awesome, fantastic. You are awesome. Congratulations to Ekam PJ. So have this, have this session help you gain some confidence? Yes, sir. Are you feeling motivated? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Do you use this learning for your success? Yes, sir. For the success of your family and your college? Yes, sir. Great. So what do you say in this session? Is it very good or excellent? Excellent. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you very much. God bless you. Love you all. The great doctors in the becoming. You are becoming a great doctor. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you, Ames B. Naga, for giving me this wonderful opportunity today. Thank you. Thank you, sir. We are giving standing ovation to you, sir. Thank you so much. More work for your <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you so much. You are all awesome. You are great. You are the values. You are the helping people. I salute all of you. We salute you to sir. You have the capacity of converting ordinary movements into extra, extra, extraordinary. I don't know how many extra I can add to that. No challenge to the energy, sir. It is very contagious. Along with the students, we do find motivated. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Dr. Shiv Prasad, for also inspiring our little warriors to act in spite of fear, to stand in power and never give up, to become and to succeed in everything. Thank you, sir, for sharing in the form of so many stories, sim many simple techniques to measure success in life. Uh, my quotes by our director, sir, on his birth anniversary that no one can stop you and me from achieving our goals, from reaching on the top. And one day we are in silence, when seated by one day and try to answer one question Have I done my best and contributed something to the people? If answer from your heart comes, yes, yes, and yes, believe me, you will find yourself to be the happiest person. Let's never ever stop. It's commitment oneself. This is by our below director, sir, Dr. Vikas Bhatia, sir. His words on his work anniversary. Nothing this in this program like this. We are very much thankful and grateful to all the speakers. On all, all behalf of HOD, we will end today's program. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you the speakers. And thank you, dear students, for wonderful participation. And thank you. Director Sir, Vikas Bhatia Sir, and Dean Sir, Dr. Neera Jagarwal Sir, for giving us the opportunity to conduct this wonderful session. Thank you, Sir. Hey, thank you very much. Uh, I think this was uh, very inspiring, highly motivating, and uh, I enjoyed uh, the session as well a lot. In between, somebody was coming or going, uh, but I was I could see that energy which you have uh, transformed. Uh, from where, whichever city at the moment, I think you are in Hyderabad only, possibly, to our students. And uh, whenever we have an opportunity to have uh, uh, another opportunity, we look forward to.
when we meet in person and you come to AIMS and uh, then we talk to the students directly and uh, that experience will again be uh, quite different. So thank you very much uh, for your time. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. 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 Thank you, sir.